I'm Dr. Suki Bamra. I'm a lecturer in pharmacy clinical and professional practice at the Medway School of Pharmacy. My research is set out to explore the impact of COVID-19 on community pharmacies and community pharmacy teams. When GPs closed their doors um, and went on to digital consultations, pharmacists were still open and had to communicate via face-to-face -face interactions. Initially, pharmacists were not listed as key workers in the government list of key workers and there was significant backlash from pharmacy representative bodies and professional bodies and in response to this a survey was launched to look at what impact COVID-19 has had on community pharmacy teams not just professionally but also personally on their physical and mental well-being as well. The survey is designed to look at sort of the implications on workload so what's changed if anything has changed and it's giving pharmacy teams the opportunity to discuss what's been going on during the pandemic so what they've experienced. So far we've had over 650 responses. Surprisingly they've the amount of information that they've they've disclosed has been significant. They've, they've really opened up and, and gone into a lot of detail about how they felt. We had an increase in demand and a loss of staff. We had a lot of customers that were also very, quite rightly frustrated with the fact that they needed the medication. And because the GPs were closed and the GPs went in lockdown, the only point of contact that they had was us. So we kind of bear a lot of the brunt of the displeasure from the customers. So we had a few incidents of patients not being happy with what was happening. Any patient with a long-term health condition, we will see them at least once a month. So we deal with the patients a lot more, but when they talk about to make policies and all of these decisions, pharmacies usually an afterthought. Just having someone ask us about how we're doing, how we're actually dealing with the situation and what is going on is extremely useful. And also having a collated evidence that can then be presented to government or to whoever is in charge of how things are actually happening on the ground. And hopefully that will lead to changes being made that will make our working and also the standards for our patients a lot better. What we need to do as, as a pharmacy team, we need to support each other better. So I think we've been put in a position where we've identified what's going, what's going wrong and where, where people need support and we should be able to sort of better manage and support people going forward.